I have never been what a lot of people would call organized. When I was growing up, I would lose papers a lot. I wouldn't bring them to school or they would like fly out of my binder. I would never remember to organize my lead or these sorts of small things that actually do make a difference. So when I got to high school and college, I was looking for productivity systems and organization systems that worked for me. My name is Mayer. I'm a student, filmmaker, and audio professional, and this is how I organize my life in Notion. Okay, so here we are inside Notion. I've set up this template for my personal needs, and I've made it available online as a template that I'll link in the description that you can download and duplicate for your own Notion workspace. First off, this is the general setup. I think that college should be divided into three areas academics, personal, and finances. So that's what I've pretty much done here. I have divided it into two major databases. We have our uh, classes database, and we have our course calendar spreadsheet. So this would be the classes database. This is every single class that I have ever taken in college. Right now I'm taking three classes. For spring 2020, I'm taking history of the US, cultural geography, and cultural anthropology. So let's go into cultural anthropology. And you can open these as pages. So what I've done here is, this is my cultural anthropology page. Within this all classes database, I have the schools that I've attended, the instructors that I've had, the quarter semester that I've ever taken it, how many semester units there are, compared to the quarter units because I started out at a school on the quarter system, and the course link. And this link will take me directly to my Canvas page or my Macmillan Learning page or something along those lines. The final thing I have here is the final grade. So all of these are the final grades that I've ever gotten in classes in college. And so I've just listed here, this one is IP, which means in progress. The other thing that I have here is quick links. And when I do this, I get my contact and office hours, the course description, and the course syllabus. So I've uploaded all of the course syllabi that I've ever had. And when I click on it, it opens up in Chrome. And now I have the information for this course. The reason that I've done that, and this is something that most people don't teach you, is that you should really keep every single syllabus you've ever gotten. About 30% of college students transfer within two or three years of starting at the college. I was one of those people. And when you're transferring, it's very useful to have your syllabi so that you can send it to the registrar and they will be able to determine which classes that covers. As you can see, the other part of this page is a course calendar template. I'm gonna go back to the beginning, homepage. So back in the, in the hub, we have the course calendar template. This is virtually every single course assignment that I have to do whether it's a discussion, homework, or when an exam or a quiz is. If we go to the next month, we can see that I've populated this to include everything I have due for the courses coming up. So this is just the calendar view, but I also have a view for this week. So what I've done here is I've created a filter that's due within the next week, and then I've sorted it in ascending order. Within the next week, I have these assignments due, and I have a way to check them off when they're done. Next up, we have the courses themselves. So within cultural geography, this is what I have to do. In cultural anthropology, we can see that I have a lot to get done. And what I've done here is I've color coded these. So within this, you can select the type. And I've selected these types to be for what the assignment is. But I like to color code these so that I know what they are. And this is just the course calendar template. So I enjoy viewing it in the calendar format, but as you can see, it's also nice to be able to see it in this format. But because I don't want to always spend time in this general area, we go into these specific pages. So within cultural geography, this is how I have it set up. I have my course link. I know what I'm taking. And down here, I have my course calendar linked to that big one. So the one on here is the master copy. And then within each of these courses, there's a linked one that allows me to see what I have to get done for these courses specifically. Within these, what I've also done is made one other type of filter. 
So within the complete, if I select that this is empty and I have, okay, so I finished chapter 22. Great. Now it's done. It's out of my course calendar. This is really helpful for those people who like to just check things off. So going back to the College Hub area, I've also created these links. Now there are some things that I don't want to keep in Notion. For instance, I'm not a huge note taker. I do have a notes database within each um, class, but I prefer to take notes on GoodNotes. But I do have these links, so I know when my classes are, and I don't have to put them in here. But for everything else in my life, I have this calendar link. This will take me up to my Google Calendar and allow me to see what I did throughout the week. The next thing I have is a Google Drive link directly to my Google Drive for my college classes. So I don't even, I bypassed my drive originally and this link just takes me directly to this page. This is where I would do most of my essay writing and things like that. I also have a couple other links. These go to my Canvas page or the Launchpad page for my, uh, you know, American history class. So that's my academic side. I think the academic side is what you wanna get started first by creating all of your classes and organizing those and organizing your course calendar template. The other side of this is the rest of my college life. So this would be just an example of a college budget. I've included it within the College Hub template. The other thing that I really enjoy to use is the College PRM. This is based off a customer relationship manager. And this is the personal relationship manager. Basically what this allows me to do is just keep track of who I've met and where I met them, how they're doing in life, and automatically know if I should be talking to them more often than I am. This is kind of a high measure thing. It, it takes a little bit of brain power to set up and keep track of because you have to manly, manually enter in all of the information. But once you do, you start to realize that you really understand more the evolution of your friendship with someone and what you're really talking about on a more daily, weekly, monthly basis. So here's how I have this set up. I have the name of someone that I've you know, contacted, totally contacted Ali Abdal, I'll talk to him all the time. Um, we met in Note Taking 208, because that's a class that we totally took together. Last update, he has 600,000 subscribers. Uh, he's not a college professor. Uh, I last contacted him a couple days ago. You know, it was a good convo, I, I enjoyed it. And this is a status. So within this, this function says, if the date between now and last contacted is less than two weeks, the time to reach out will say, good, I don't have to reach out. But if I were to change this to a month ago, the status would say time to reach out. So as you see, it's been a long time since I've talked to Thomas Frank. I actually have talked to Thomas Frank. I was on his podcast. Oh my God, would you look at that? It's the podcast. Um, so I haven't talked to him in a long time. And the last time I talked to him was May 12th, 2017. So it says time to reach out. I should probably reach out to him. You should also probably listen to this podcast. And the last time that I talked to Princess Leia was, you know, a few weeks ago. She was rushing Alpha Kappa Chai Latte. Yeah, so I hope that she got in. Sometimes your college personal relationship manager has to do with your professors as well. And when you have a conversation with them or if you're discussing some sort of research paper with them, you would like to know that what you talked about and when you talked about it. I'm someone who forgets a lot of what I talk to someone about unless I put it into a written system. So I really enjoy this. It's included in the template and you can use that. So overall, that's how I use Notion. Notion has been a huge part of keeping me organized within my academic life. It's a great way to just visualize what you have to get done, work on the important things that you have to finish and organize them in a way that makes sense to you. Everything is fully customizable and totally up to you. If you checked out my video from last week on my productivity workspace, I just wanted to say thank you for the like or the view or the, the comment. Uh, it really means a lot to me and helps me grow as a creator. If you haven't, it's somewhere next to my face. Otherwise, next week I'll be starting a series on digital minimalism through productivity. So if you get a chance to see that, then uh, I look forward to sharing that with you. 
Um, again, I'm new to the YouTube game, so leave a comment, leave a like, leave a question or how I'm, how I'm doing, and I really appreciate all of that. So have a great week, and uh, I'll see you soon.